did you know that you could add a rubric to a Canvas discussion or assignment? Watch this video to continue to learn more. From the inner ribbon, I'm going to select the Discussions tab in my Canvas course. Then I have already created a discussion, so I will click here to select that discussion. So this discussion, students are asked to, um, here in the, in the instructions, to name three types of tectonic plate boundaries and um, describe what happens and so forth. Notice how I've given explicit directions for my students, and I've even provided supports with a video um, to guide their thinking. Now I'm ready to add a rubric. In the top right-hand corner, you'll notice an ellipsis. By clicking here, you will open up a menu, and you're gonna choose Add Rubric. Your, your Rubric Assignment Details window will open, and you'll have the option to first name your rubric. And now we have to give some criteria. My criteria is based on what I ask students to complete in the discussion. So I need to add my first criterion. I have to give it a description. And I don't have to give a long description, but if there are additional details that you want to include here, you can. Now I have to decide how my students will be rated based on how they respond. The defaults are here, but I can click this blue button and add additional point values. So for five points, I can decide I want to edit that. And instead of five points, if they completed that entire thing, I'm going to give them 10 points. And that was the full marks or full score maybe, you can edit that whole ranking. Then I need to be sure to say, give a rating description. So full points meant that students were able to um, identify or name each of the three types of plate tectonic boundaries. Then I will click update rating, okay? Now, what if students only named two? I need to give another rating for that. So I do so by clicking the blue button and maybe I'm going to award seven points if they only named two types of the plate tectonic boundaries. So I give the description there and I also have to be sure to put a title here, okay? And then I click update. The next one, I want what if they only did one and so forth. So maybe I want to add another and I will award them three points if they only named one type of plate tectonic boundary. So notice how I'm being explicit based on what students had to achieve um, in the directions of the discussion. Okay, so these are my three, my three point systems. And then, of course, if they did not name any plate tectonic boundaries, I need to be sure that I edit that so that that says so. So no boundaries were named. Okay, now if I want to add another component of my discussion, then I would have to click Add Criterion. So I need a new criterion because this was... The first part was about the plate tectonic boundaries. Now I want to add another part. So the next thing students had to do is they had to talk about the actions at the plate tectonic boundaries. So there's my description and then I create it. I go through the exact same way and give remarks and add details based on what I ask students to complete on the rubric. When I have all of that completed, I'm going to click create rubric. Now, one thing to make notice of, if you notice up here, my um, discussion is out of 100 points. I need to be sure that my rubric is out of also out of 100 points, okay? So for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna change this so that my numbers match and add up to 100, and now I'll create rubric, okay? Now, when you go to, and so I'll exit out, now, when you go to the speed grader option, um, once students have submitted, you will be able to see a rubric in 
the window while you see your student submissions. I hope this video was helpful. And I'll see you